Now, it is well known that the coronavirus is taking a toll on black and Latino communities, as you just heard. But there is another minority that's also being hit hard by COVID-19. CBS 2's Hermela Aragawi shows us what the Filipino community is doing to help each other during the pandemic. We quickly realized that there's nothing really out there that's culturally tailored to this community that is written for these folks in mind. Tayo, which means us in the Filipino language of Tagalog, is a virtual COVID-19 help desk that was created by a group of young leaders from Southern California's large Filipino-American community. The goal, providing reliable and discreet information to a demographic that has been disproportionately affected by COVID-19. It's basically a group of people that are experts in these different fields, whether it's in medical or mental health, housing, immigration, that could help answer those questions. The project funded by a Booz Allen Foundation grant is meant to address gaps of information that are sometimes fueled by cultural norms. The cultural barriers we often see is uh, things like hia, which means shame. They're, they're afraid to ask for help. They're too shameful to let people know that they're sick. California has the largest Filipino population of any state, according to a recent American community survey. Many are elderly and many others work in the medical field. According to the California Nurses Association, 20% of nurses in the state are of Filipino descent, but at some point made up 70% of COVID-19 deaths in the profession. My brother works at a healthcare facility and my sister-in-law does too. Peter Gonzaga isn't in the medical field but did contract COVID-19 in July. He believes it was from a friend that works at a hospital. They were both fine but Gonzaga says his cousin who worked at a local hospital didn't survive the disease. With the Filipino community a lot of family members are so close and 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 multi-generational and and so forth, or, you, or you're taking care of an aunt or uncle that might be sick. The project is currently only in Los Angeles, but Lizelle Teglau, who chairs the COVID-19 task force, tells me they hope to expand to other U.S. cities with significant Filipino populations. Hermela Aragawi, CBS 2 News.